stressed that my bag is overweight. No, I'm stressed that you have a cover. <laughs> You're gonna want a cover. <laughs> Would you look at that? 50. We all got through. No bags are a problem. Yeah, Alex. Where is Alex? I see her. Mimosas and breakfast. crazy trying to put together all these bags right now is just you know a whole thing but we're doing it
right, we just got ready for beach picnic. Here's my outfit. Girls are wearing pink. Alex is not ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to the beach picnic. Everyone's in there pretty in pink. So cute. We're picking up pizza and salads. Yay! Look how cute. And we're bringing it to the beach. Got our koozies. Cutest little town. Cheers. morning guys we just got ready we're heading to go to yoga at this really beautiful studio called studio 30a is that what yeah. it's called and i just put on my outfit i have the set active white lux form um outfit it's the blanc is like the color so pretty what you can come out blanc is the color alex is in her green green is the color <sighs> so cute <laughs> we love <laughs> Who's ready for yoga? I am. We are. Stephanie and Mary, you guys ready for yoga? Yes. Yes. So Were you ready to sweat? Let's see how this white outfit does in yoga. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous.
Pescado, and I just put my outfit on. I love it. I need to show you guys full picture. Actually, let me go outside and show you. Hold on. We need to go to dinner, but quickly, the bride, a quick check. And let me show you my bag. Everybody. So cute. I'm taking a vlog. Come in my vlog. This dress is from Show Me Your Moo Moo. The sash is my sister got it for me. This is from Amazon. A little veil. And then Sam Edelman. Just. And then for mine. And veils. My skirt is garage. Oh, yeah, they tell where your top's from. This is from the Bella Moda Collection, which is my clothing line. Um, you can get it at thebellamodacollection.com. First month is free. Subscribe. Love the shoes. And the top. And tonight is Glitz and Glam night. All the girls are wearing Glitz and Glam themed outfits. We're going to this place called Pescado. I'm so excited. We had such a fun day. We went to the pool today and it was so fun. And I'm so excited to have a night out. It's beautiful. And I'm just so thankful to be here. Like literally having the best time. I have not updated you guys at all because I've just been on cloud nine, literally. All right, let's do this. Oh, you picked a good one. Yes, did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you did. How cute. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, so cute. You're already doing a good job as an almost husband. Nick, are you feel safe? Doing well. Very well. We've got the no. <laughs> I wasn't so scared sweet. to begin Thank with. You. I figured it was one of those. Oh. Yeah, but they told you what it was. So.
we're gonna go yeehaw it up in there. <laughs> it's not like we're, like, we're gonna go two step in Look back. Play. Okay, Matthew. Let's slams and shots. I don't know. Let's sing glam outfits and check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> talked to the camera today or like since last night but we had the best boat day you can see i am burnt to a freaking crisp right now i just got out of the shower but we had such a fun day today on the boat we were there from like 11 to 4 oh my god like literally had the time of my life on the boat last night was so fun i can't wait to like do a full debrief but like this has been my dream bachelorette it's been everything and more i could have imagined so it's been really amazing we just got out of the shower i just found like a clean outfit and there's no better feeling than getting out of the shower after like a long boat day and washing your hair and feeling clean we're gonna go and walk to this one place really quickly i think it's called the trading co because i really want to get a rosemary sweatshirt and maybe a baseball cap and then we're gonna come back and just like cook at home tonight play games and have fun and do like a little pajama night um but i just wanted to update because i didn't last night Oh my god, why is there an apple in my bag? I did not update. But camera's going there. Didn't update last night because we were just having so much fun. And then this morning we were running out the door. Oh my god. The place that we're going to close in five minutes. Alright, we gotta go. My parents sent over some desserts and champagne. So cute. Look at Lemon Perfect is stocking the batch house. Would you look at that? Tomato, so 
Young. Cool. That sounds spectacular. Give me a quote. This smells so good. Yum. heading out today oh my gosh it's so beautiful leaving rosemary today i'm emotional and we're lobsters <laughs> All right, we made it to Atlanta. We have one more flight in like four hours. We need a coffee, we need some aloe, we need some sleep, no one slept in five days. I don't even know another I have no voice. No one find sleep, someone no sleep. Club. Another club. club. Another, another club. club. Beach picnic, no sleep. <laughs> Bomb threat. At least Bomb threat. Bomb threat. <laughs> we were in an airport. I didn't even it. tell them. There was a bomb oh, threat in Rosemary. Oh, vlog. Okay, I didn't sorry, even vlog. tell you guys, but there was a bomb threat in Rosemary Beach when we were there. Oh, but it right wasn't now. serious. It was the ex-husband <laughs> of the person getting married. So personal vendetta. <laughs> but we still made it to our dinner. <laughs> still made it to our dinner. Right At least here. we have cute Rosemary Beach sweatshirts and hats. Oh, amazing! A Starbucks and a nice amazing burn. and a nice lobster burn. <laughs> Hallelujah. We made it. Just a couple of laps for us. See you Sunday, hopefully. He's hi, Dad. Hi. Hello. I'm finally home. It's me from the next day later. Also, you guys look at my forehead. I'm peeling like crazy, but 
it was all worth it. I figured I would just do a little debrief before I ended off this vlog because I did a bunch of montages and just like took you guys through the weekend. I chatted here and there, but I was really trying to just be like in the moment and when I was vlogging, capture as much as I could, but I didn't like talk to you enough and kind of give you like a play by play of like what was going on. So we had literally the most amazing trip. I told everyone and my sister specifically who planned it, I was like, this was truly my dream bachelorette trip. Like it makes me so emotional just like talking about it because it was probably the best weekend of my life. Besides when Matthew and I got engaged, I would say this is like the best weekend of my life besides that weekend. And it was just so carefree, so fun, so beautiful. Like, oh my God, my heart is just like so full after that. And I have never laughed and smiled so hard. And that's a common thing that everybody was saying. And the last night when we did the taco night, we were all sitting around the table. We were just talking about like our favorite part of the trip. I could not say one because I just like loved every part of it. But a lot of people were going around and sharing memories that were like a highlight to them. And a bunch of people were saying like, this is the most I've laughed and smiled and like the most genuine fun I've had in so long. And I would totally agree. Like. It was just everything and more than I ever dreamed my bachelorette would be. And everybody who celebrated with me, I'm like so fortunate to have had that experience with them and so grateful for like all of the love and the support. And it was just, I can't even put it into words. It was everything more I ever thought of. And my sister, Alex, who planned it was thought of every single detail. It was absolutely perfect. And I am just like feeling so blessed, grateful. My heart is so full this morning. And I'm still like looking back on the videos and the photos and reminiscing and we all are texting and it was just amazing. I can't say anything more. It was just incredible, dreamy, magical, all of the things. We did the beach picnic on Thursday like you guys saw. Right when we got in, Alex and I put together all the bachelorette goodie bags and the girls loved everything inside of them which made me so happy because I spent so much time putting those together and I really wanted to be thoughtful about what was included in them and everyone loved them. And then my sister gave me a really cute little like bride bag. It said wife of the party you guys saw full of like sashes and veils and this bride clip, a bride necklace, a little pearl necklace, all this really cool stuff. And then Matthew wrote me a letter, which I did get on camera. And of course I cried when I wrote, when I listened to it or when I read it out loud. So cute of him. Just made me feel like a little part of him was there. And so we did that and then we got ready. We went to the beach picnic. My sister coordinated this with a company out in Rosemary Beach. I think it was called like 38 Beach Picnic Girls or something. And all the girls wore pink. It was pretty in pink theme. And it was the beach picnic of my dreams. When we were walking up to it, my friend Stephanie was filming me. I like could not believe what I saw in front of my eyes with how gorgeous it was right on the beach, right on the water. We watched the sunset. It was breathtaking. Like I have seen those beach picnics on Instagram and on TikTok and in movies. And when I saw one that was like mine, I was like emotion. It was just like so cool. We picked up pizzas and salads from this place called Pizza by the Sea. And it was just like the most special night. We watched the sunset, we drank wine, we had pizza and salads, we said stories and everybody went around and talked about like their favorite memory of me and it was such a special night. So after that, we went home, went to bed, and then, cause we had gotten up the night, the day before, or that day actually, at like 4 a.m. So on Saturday, or I'm sorry, on Friday, we woke up, went to this most amazing, beautiful yoga studio. You guys saw, it's called Studio 30A in 30A. We were staying in Rosemary Beach, but 30A is like the big surrounding town. I think it's because it's on Highway 30A. And then Rosemary Beach is like an adorable beach town inside of 30A, which you guys saw. So we went to that yoga studio. If you guys want like the full itinerary, um, I have it here. I got these printed. Take a screenshot if you want to go to Rosemary Beach. This is the full itinerary of every single thing that we did while we were there. And also like you're welcome to message me. Um, and I can help you with all that. But Studio 30A is the one that we went to with all the chandeliers and it was hot yoga, but it was like such a good workout. I didn't feel like it was too fast, which was nice. 
and it was gorgeous like amazing way to start the day so mindful really nice to kind of just like slow down we had Mackenzie as the instructor and she was incredible and just like the most aesthetic yoga studio like I've ever been to my whole life so that was amazing we went and got acai bowls at Playa Bowls back in Rosemary Beach which is right outside of the Pearl Hotel such a cute little area that town looks like a little like glimpse of Europe it's just so cute and quaint so we we're eating acai bowls and this is the part when I said yesterday that there was a bomb threat in Rosemary Beach there was it was literally on the news right where we were at the Pearl Hotel like we were walking around we went to a coffee shop there was a bomb threat so we all like flipped out and ran home long story short we found out there was a wedding there the night after I believe I don't think it was the night that night. I think it was a corporate event that night. But there was a wedding the night after and the ex-husband of the bride that was getting married called and in fact said that there was a bomb. I don't think there was a bomb at all. They did bring the bomb squad in. There was like cops everywhere. There was helicopters. It was actually like really crazy and serious. But we heard at the restaurant that there was actually no bomb. So I wanted to like give some context around that because we just like said it yesterday in the airport and I was like, I feel like I need to elaborate on what that what that was because that's pretty serious. So, um, false alarm, thank gosh. I'm hoping the wedding still went on. And, um, okay, so anyways, then after that, we went to the pool, which was so fun. It was so nice. We hung out there, and we had, some, like, high noons. We were listening to music, laying out. It was so nice. And then after the pool we got ready for the glitz and glam night and that's when we went to the restaurant pescado which had that beautiful overlook that you guys saw it overlooked the whole town the beach the water we saw the most incredible sunset it was like orange cotton candy skies and the dinner we had there was 10 out of 10 if you guys go to rosemary beach you need to go to pescado it's very hard to get into you have to call 60 days in advance to get a reservation but if you can get one highly recommend this service was incredible and matthew sent over two bottles of well there was one bottle of champagne and one bottle of like one of my favorite sauvignon blancs and that was so cute he did like little surprises every night of the trip and it was just like made my heart so happy and so that was a really great way to just like start the dinner and then he also sent over some dessert after which we all enjoyed that dinner was fabulous. The dresses, everybody's outfits were so fun. That's like one thing I really loved about doing the themes is just seeing how everyone's unique style was brought to life with all the different themes. And yeah, so fun, amazing night. Then we went to the Pearl after, we grabbed drinks. I don't think I vlogged any of that. We weren't able to go on the rooftop because there was a corporate event going on that night, but they did have like a little lounge at the Havana Beach Club. So we got drinks there. And then after that, we went to this bar called AJ's which was crazy there was tons of people there there was a live band there was a dj it was like wall-to-wall -wall people we were standing outside of it for like 20 minutes waiting and we got there like pretty late like maybe like 11. um also if you're staying in rosemary beach getting ubers is very very difficult it takes like forever to get one so by the time we actually got one to go to aj's it was late but i was not caring i was like so carefree this trip and it was amazing like i'm so glad that I just like went with the flow with everything and we went to AJ's and it turned out to be so fun. We were dancing like all night. We had like our sunglasses on and we just had like genuinely the best time dancing and singing and it was so, so fun. I haven't like danced or went out like that in literally years and it was just like so, so fun. So then we took an Uber back. We went to bed at literally 3 a.m. that night. Again, not something I normally do, but we got home at like 1.30 and then my sister Alex and I were rooming together and we were just like up talking until 3.30 and we're like, oh my God, we need to go to bed. We have to get up the next day for a boat day. So we got up. Originally, we were supposed to bike to Alice Beach and go to Raw and Juicy and this place called Fonville Press. But my sister got a call on Saturday morning, the night after we went out, and the girl who we booked the boat with, I think it was called Paradise Adventures, the company we booked the boat with, it was a pontoon boat. She called and she's like, listen, there's gonna be a storm today. I really want you guys to still have, you know, the full four hours that you paid for. So I'm gonna propose that you come from like 10 a.m. to four hours instead of going, I think we were supposed to go at like 1.30. So we were like, okay, rolling with the punches, like 
Didn't get that much sleep, but we're like, everybody, we're going to the boat day, like now, instead of in two hours. So we all got ready, we went to the boat, and the boat was so, so, so fun. Oh my gosh, we had a blast. The weather was so nice, and our captain was so funny. His name was Hunter, and he was vlogging on my camera like the whole trip, which was so funny. And we were dancing and swimming, and it was just like a really fun way to kind of like break up some of the trip. It was a fun thing to add into the itinerary because it was just a little bit different. Oh my God, it was so fun. And so then when we got home, we went to the Trading Co and we got some like sweatshirts and hats, which were so cute. I wore those yesterday. And then that night we did a On Clown 9 PJ party, taco party. We just stayed in and it was perfect because there were, actually was a storm that night. It was like monsooning. So we stayed in and all the girls cooked and made like a beautiful taco dinner. It was so fun. And my sister blew up like all these bride balloons with this cute furry cloud for like the On Cloud 9 theme. Also, she got like most of my decorations from Exo Fetty, by the way. And it was so fun. It was like the dreamiest night in. I had those cute feather white pajamas on and we had such a yummy dinner. And then after that we played a game night and it was like the best way to end the trip because everybody was just like laughing and hanging out. Um, other like cute cards people wrote me. It was just the best. The next day we woke up and we had to go. But so funny, I was driving in the Uber with my sister and Chelsea back to the airport because we were leaving. And like I started crying because I'm like, I'm just so sad it's over. Like we had been talking about this trip and like planning this trip and just like all my outfits and like all the gifts that I was giving the girls and like just so excited to see everybody. Like we had been, there's been so much like hype and anticipation leading up to the trip. And when it was over, I was like, oh my gosh, it went by so quick. And I knew it was going to, so I really tried to like cherish every single moment that I had with everybody and really try to like soak every little detail and memory in because I knew it would go by so quick. And I have like no regrets on anything. Like I feel like I really like spent time with everybody and I feel like I really like soaked in all the memories and it was just like a 20 out of 10 trip. Like literally amazing. So. Anyways, I just wanted to share a little recap because I wasn't really talking in the moment and if you guys are thinking about going to Rosemary Beach or 30A or Alice Beach for your bachelorettes, I highly recommend. It was the most amazing, gorgeous town. There were still some things that we didn't have time to do, like obviously just because there's so much to do there. So I definitely want to go back with Matthew. I feel like that is going to be like our place. It's so cute. I feel like all my friends really loved it and my sister and my sister-in-law and it was just amazing. Like I... Oh my god, no words. Just so amazing. My heart is so full. So, that being said, I am going to end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Bachelorette vlog. I originally was not going to vlog because I really wanted to be in the moment and I wanted to be taking TikTok content and reels. And I was like, you know what? My vlogs are like the most real, authentic kinds of content I take. Like, I love reels. I love TikToks. But like, the vlogs are where I really talk to you guys and show like behind the scenes. And I was like, I'm gonna regret not vlogging and I want these memories for myself to look back on one day. And I am so, 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 so glad I did. Also, all the girls were amazing. Like anytime I wasn't vlogging, someone would like pick up my camera for me or film something on their phone. So that was really awesome because I didn't feel like I like missed out on any moments for you guys to see. And also just for myself, like I have this to look back on forever and ever. And I'm just so excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Bachelorette vlog. The wedding is six, I don't know, 86 days away as of today, and it's going to be here before I know it. I'm just so, so, so excited. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload every single Friday, but I will see you in my next video. Bye.